Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of the best modifications you can do for your vehicle and that is HP tuners. This is the tuning program that I actually use at the shop here to tune the GM cars. Now you can get this in the link below if you don't have it. And when you do get it, this is going to be how to set it up. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get your computer. Do you have a Windows computer? If you have a Windows computer, you're ahead of the game. If you don't, go to the store right now and get it. Okay, next, once you have your Windows computer, we're going to go to hptuners.com and I'm going to show you what to do at that point. Okay, it looks like you made it to hptuners.com. That is right there, hptuners.com. You are going to go first to downloads and then download the suite and this is the latest full version there is a beta don't download this one unless I tell you to download it uh, or your car requires it such as a newer like 2019 2020 uh, vehicle so you'll download this it will download wherever it saves to know where you're saving that stuff to and then open it and for me, I can open it up here. I'm just going to open the file. It's going to say, hey, this is an executable file. It contains viruses. Your life is over. Okay, so you're going to install the herp rate here. I accept. Next. And just kind of keep on clicking next. Don't even read anything. It's not worth it. Yep, install the virus. And boom, you have installed HP Tuners. For those of you with Windows 10, you're going to find that it will be somewhere up here, the recently added. If it doesn't come up there, you are going to be searching for it down here with, look at that, HP Tuners. Now I have the beta, but I'm not going to use it. You will open up the editor. Doo, doo, doo. So when your editor opens up for the first time, you might have a uh, pop-up that comes up that says, hey, how do you want this? Advanced, Imperial stuff? Just click Advanced, you're going to be a smart guy. And then uh, Imperial or Metric, that's, you know, I, I think you should probably go Metric because that's how most people think. But uh, I do have stuff in Imperial, so I have like PSI and stuff like that as well. And once this fancy editor opens up, we're going to get to the next fun part. Okay, so here's where it's going to get fun. We are actually going to start unboxing this bad boy. Okay, not returnable. Sold. Okay, so in your HP Tuners box, you're going to see that the meat and potatoes of it is your HP Tuners interface. This is the MPVI2. It plugs into your OBD2 port and uses a USB-C connection. And if you, if you do not have a computer that has USB-C, you are in good hands because HP Tuners is going to include a USB-C to the regular USB that we're all accustomed to, which is that big guy here, and on the other end, the USB-C. Don't worry about which way you plug this stuff in because USB-C is kind of trans. It goes either way. So now that we're at that point, we're going to go to my account here, and you are going to register. It's going to say, hey, here's some stuff, register, and it's going to have some, like, capture thing. See, my password is pretty easy. It's circle, 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 circle. Incredible, right? Once, you're, once you register and you're in, and that's something that you're going to have to do by yourself, you can go to My Devices. And this is where you are going to add your MPVI2. You can see that I have... MPVI1, that's the old one. See, I have lots of credits, slew of credits. And then you have your MPVI2. They are asking for your serial number, your verification ID, and notes, which uh, it's not really important. And this is how we're going to do it. So we're going to plug our USB-C into HP Tuners. Now that that's in, we're actually able to see that there's a serial number, but we're going to do some copy and pasting because we're smart. And then we'll plug the USB into the computer. And now that the USB is into the computer, again, we are in the VCM editor. That's an HP Tuner's editor. We're going to hit help. 
MPVI2 verification code. You see that you can copy this. See verification code retrieved successfully. That's I'm pressing Control C to copy. And then we're going to go to here, verification ID, Control V, and I'm going to go back into that that one. We're going to we're going to get this whole thing there, and that's going to be we're going to copy that one as well. Control C, and then import. And guess what? We have it imported already. You see that there's zero credits here. If you're looking to tune with this, you'll want to add credits as needed. Uh, or you can just add credits to keep it, you know, stocked up. But you only use credits once per car. And you can also, you know, add a couple other things like the pro feature set and whatnot. It, it's pretty cool. So sometimes when you plug in you're not going to be able to get that verification code without updating your interface first uh, instead of hitting that verification code so if you've had problems with that I want you to hit the same help button and go to resync interface so help resync interface and this will actually update the firmware on it which is basically needed anytime you you go to tune because you need to be connected to the internet if I didn't mention that er earlier you need to be connected to the internet to do all this stuff I was hoping that going to hptuners.com kinda meant that you'd get it but if you didn't get it hopefully that is specific enough see mm, internet so now that you've connected to the internet you and you resync the interface and you've got your verification code, you're ready to rock. Okay, so our test mule today is gonna to be my wife's Camaro SS convertible. And what you are going to look for is underneath the dash, somewhere underneath the dash, there is this port. Now it is not, this is your OBD2 port. This is not on the same spot in every car. Most newer GMs, it's down to the left. Sometimes it's in the center facing down. Sometimes it's in the center facing forward. Sometimes it's all the way on the right, but it's usually under the driver's side. If you have a swap car, I don't know where you put it, but you know, you should. You're just gonna plug in here. Now that we're plugged in, you'll actually see that there is power to the system. And now, next step, is keying on. So with the car started and running, now we are gonna open up our VCM scanner. VCM scanner is under the HP Tuners folder. You're gonna see VCM scanner. Don't worry about my beta, but VCM scanner, we're gonna open that bad boy up, and then you are going to see the scanner line up. Easy peasy. Now we're plugged into the to the car and the laptop with the car on. Uh, if you have a channel configuration that I've sent you or something that you've saved, you can open it up by hitting that uh, open button there. It'll be open channel configuration. If I send it to you, you'll just go there and you know figure out what you want open. Uh, for me, I'm going to do this guy for for my wife's car, and then you can hit the record button. Yay, record. And it'll do this. You can also hit the space bar. I just hit the space bar. And now I'm recording data. Doop, doop, do. Data, data, data. Data, data, data. Data, data, data. Data. Okay, we've got enough data. So when you're done getting data, you're going to hit the uh, stop scanning button. And before we try to flash, you're going to need it to be disconnected from the vehicle. Now whenever, now this is a really cool thing about HP tuners, is that whenever you stop scanning, you're going to be able to reopen that log file. It is in your documents. You're gonna go into your documents, HP tuners, VCM scanner, it's misleading, and then the logs. And you will see all the stuff that you have logged. So don't worry if you didn't save the log, but you can get it. It's time stamped. See how it says that it's, uh, uh, was it 1520? Well, it's 1521. And that, uh, that is 
the same log file that we just did. See, there's that little rev. Pretty cool. But with that, you can take a log file and send it to me if, uh, if I'm working with you for remote tuning. If not, well, you can find your log file whenever then. And you can also save your log file by hitting the save log as, and you, that's what I tend to do. Next up, so you got your log file, you got some data, now it's time to tune. Okay, so with HP tuners plugged in, some cars, again, will need the internet, might not. You're going to do the following steps. Not starting it, keying on. So accessory mode is usually good. Sometimes you'll press and hold in order to go all the way, th uh, all the way on without turning your engine on. And now next step is pulling the calibration. Now some of these newer cars, yeah, nope. Some of these newer cars, you're only gonna wanna pull a couple things. We're gonna press gather info first. You can press read and it'll start reading everything. But with gather info, we can read the ECM, the TCM, and the FSCM. Now, one thing that I wanna stress is most of the time you do not need to tune the FSCM. So you will want to turn that to do not read so you do not have to license the credits for that. Um, the rest of them you can read some of them you have to Get a uh, different trans controller for it. We're just going to read the ECM for now because that's the meat and potatoes um, You cannot add to it later. You'll probably have to pull it again if you wanted to uh, Combine it into one tune file. I would recommend if you do have transmission You might as well pull it in anyway. I'm not going to do it for this uh, particular one, but then you'll hit read and you will see that it is going to initialize and start reading the data. So some cars, when you go to read them, they will need to be connected to the internet. It will say, uh, seed not found, try again in 15 minutes. And that's exactly what you wanna do. You wanna try again in 15 minutes to read the car. And then once it pings HP tuners, it should be able to get that unlock key and unlock the computer and do what it needs to. Some cars, like the uh, 2017 and up, have a TCM that it will find on HP tuners, but you will not be able to read it because it requires an unlock service. And uh, some cars like the new ZR1 that with the E99 computer, so a 2019 ZR1, require the actual computer to be unlocked in order to read it. And it will let you know if you indeed need to have these things unlocked. Uh, and there are a couple other cars, a lot of the Dodges that require the same thing as well. So reading the data can take anywhere from 40 seconds to 20 minutes, depending on the car. Most of the cars are gonna be between that 40 seconds and five minutes. Uh, the 20 minutes is usually when you read a Chevy, uh, a Chevy Cobalt SS with the turbocharger. It takes 20 minutes to read it in that stupid tune. So if you are in accessory mode, one of the things that I do recommend if you are going to pull in the uh, TCM is when it finishes pulling the engine, see how it says reading here, it's going to say completed and then it's going to be like waiting and when it says waiting, cycle this so it doesn't time out because you do hit a power saver mode and it'll shut it off in between and then you'll end up with jack shit. It's, it sucks. Trust me, I've been there. Okay, so our tune has completed its download. We're just gonna call it tune one, engine only, because that's kind of what we got. Engine only, I'm doing this with one hand. And you now have your tune file. When you wanna flash your tune file, so you make some changes, you hit save as, save it as a new file. When you want to flash it, hit that button, that is, uh, you're probably going to do right calibration for most things. Uh, if you do right and tire, it's probably not going to help you. You're going to make sure that you're in, in accessory mode uh, or computer on, and you're going to hit right calibration unless somebody directs you to do right and tire, you always want to use right calibration. Hit right. If you do need to license it, something's going to pop up right here. And if it just says unlicensed vehicle like an asshole, a little trick is to delete the license.dat file. You should not have this uh, problem. Uh, this is just because I deleted my HP tuners, re-added HP tuners, and did some stupid shit. 
and it, it should pop up with a, hey, you need to license it, it's X credits. So if I have sent you a tune file, you'll be able to open it simply by double clicking it through the email. Uh, but make sure that you're saving it somewhere, somewhere where you're going to be able to find it later. Uh, I usually like to sort things by, uh, you know, the the car, so the year of the car, the car, the transmission, uh, then the customer's name. But I mean, I have uh, thousands upon thousands of customers here, so if I didn't do that and I was just like, hey, blue Camaro, uh, it might it might be hard for me to find. But for you, if you're doing this on a personal level it might be really really easy for you to identify you know what's yeah what car is what okay so i think that about wraps it up that should be a good detail on how to log a car and also how to pull the tune off of it and write a tune now again some of the newer cars will require internet and also some of the really really new cars will require the hp tuners beta so when you downloaded it you might have had to download the beta it will tell you if it's unsupported if it is un indeed unsupported and sometimes the beta does include some other features but for the most part you want to stay with production because sometimes the beta gets a little iffy and uh tends to crash a lot and sometimes like I've had a couple computers die from the beta but you know sometimes they don't sometimes it's perfectly fine if you have any questions in logging your car or law uh, or pulling the tune or writing the tune just just click the uh, the comment button below and ask away I'll try to get to them uh, I am not giving tuning advice, so if you're looking for tuning advice, uh, you're, I'm probably not going to respond to you. No offense, I just I want to make sure that this is a, uh, a video on how to do very specific things in the car, and if you have any issues with that, I'd be interested in helping out. Oh my gosh, it is so hot. It's like 90 some degrees and humid as all heck. So I'm going to go now. Thanks again for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe. I know this isn't our normal video, this is our walkthrough video on how to use HP tuners. I figured I'd post it uh, because I get the question a lot on how do I set up HP tuners, how do I do it, blah blah blah. Okay. Thanks a lot. See you guys on the next video. Adios.